Hello and welcome back to this series of uh, how to make videos aimed at teachers and teaching assistants working in primary schools and middle schools. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a working tipper truck and we're going to make the back of the truck, um, uh, we're going to raise it and lower it using um, uh, these syringes. It's an example of a simple pneumatic system. You could even fill the syringes and the tubing with water to make a hydraulic system. Now for the body of the truck I'm going to use a cardboard sheet and uh, you can make this vehicle uh, using uh, recycled cardboard boxes. So you need to collect some small cardboard boxes like this. Um, this, this way round perhaps could be the, the front, the cab of the truck. Um, you can even um, open, very carefully open up these boxes, fold them back the other way and then glue them back together again to get a blank surface that can be decorated. So uh, perhaps we could have another box down here for the base for the chassis and then a third box on top which will be the part of the truck that is raised and lowered by the syringes. Um, if you haven't got time to collect lots of boxes, uh, don't worry because I've been busy again on Coral Draw and I've drawn up um, three templates. These are uh, fold up nets. Um, there's one for the cab of the truck, one for the base and one for the, the tip of the part that moves. And what I've done is I've photocopied uh, I used a photocopy to enlarge each of these A4 templates onto A3 card. Um, this is the thickest card that I could persuade to go through our uh, photocopier. I've done my best not to uh, over design them so that there's lots of potential for students to add their own features. For instance like a driver and perhaps some branding for the tipper truck. Now as always with a net when you have dotted lines, the dotted lines are fold lines, uh, I always score fold lines. Uh, if you've got lots to do it'll be, it might be a bit tedious but it's really worth doing. Uh, I score lines with one of these small uh, screwdrivers. You don't want to use anything very sharp because you'll cut through the card and just press down hard and a couple of strokes along all the dotted lines. I strongly recommend that you do this. Perhaps you saw um, another video in this series where I showed you how to make a school bus. That uses a similar net and that very simple project is something that I do with year one and two. I must confess I haven't yet tried out the tipper truck with students. Um, probably would have to be two sessions if each pupil is going to make their own. Uh, perhaps a team of three could cooperate and each student could make their own part of the truck. So we're just finishing off the scoring. Now the cab is um, a simple uh, fold up box. I'm not going to make you watch me cut this out. Um, it's uh, as always with these card nets it's very good practice for using scissors. Um, and when you cut it up, fold it up and then fix the tabs. I like to put the tabs inside, it looks neater. You could use PVA glue, you could use um, sellotape, which is what I use when I do the school bus in schools. Uh, in, in this case I, I have used a, a glue gun and I'm going to use a glue gun in this video purely because it, it's faster. So that's the cab of the tipper truck done. Um, we'll now work on the, the base or the chassis. That's what it looks like um, cut out. Um, again I have already scored the dotted lines but we've got um, a couple more things to do. Uh, we've got some holes to punch out here. Uh, I've got um, a hole punch here that I can use. If you don't have a hole punch you could use um, a sharp pencil and push into a sponge block to make the holes. Um, 
So we've got two holes in the bottom of the truck. Uh, and it won't quite reach that one, so let's fold that tab over, which we're going to have to do anyway. Yeah, and now it, it will reach the hole. Then we've got a hole coming out of the back of what's going to be the back of the truck. And then we've got um, a large hole here. Now, if, if I was doing this in my workshop, I'd cut this out with a, with a, with a sharp craft knife. Um, what you can do is to make a small hole big enough to get scissors in and then cut round to enlarge the hole. Don't worry if it's not a particularly neat job, it's not going to be seen when the tipper truck is completed. That's the hole that the syringe is going to go through. Okay, um, that's all the prep that we have to do. Oh, um, I think I better write my name on it. There we go. And now we're going to fold up all these dotted lines. There are four long folds. Can you see how easily and accurately it folds because we've scored it? There's four long ones. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight short ones. You can see the net now coming together. Just going to glue this up. Put some glue along this long tab. I'm going to have to be quite quick to get this done. Younger pupils, almost certainly this would have to be done by an adult. And then glue in the, um, the ends like this. So that just pops in like that. So that's going to be the um, front. And then the back of the tipper truck. Once again, you could use PVA glue. It worked very well, you just had to be a bit more patient. And then very carefully make sure I don't get glue on my fingers. Glue in the back of the bus. So we've now got the the cab and the uh, back the base or the chassis of the bus, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, we're now going to work on the uh, the, the tipper part. That's the, going to be the moving part. So here's the net for the tipper cut out. Um, we, we do have to we do have to cut this hole out, but I find it's easy to cut out once the uh, box has been folded up. So once again, all these dotted lines have already been scored. So we're just going to fold them all over at a right angle. Don't forget the tabs. Working with pupils, they always claim to have folded all the folds. They always seem to forget some. So there we go. So there, that's the net folded up ready to be glued together. I always do the long fold first. Zigzag the glue. Got it. Only got a few seconds to get it in place and lined up properly. Not perfect but it will do. And now this is the um, front of the tipper which is glued up. And that tab there and just tuck that in and glue it down here we are now the back of the tipper is not glued down um, this has got to be able to open to let the contents out uh, but to strengthen it this tab here Unlike all the others, we're just going to fold it back on itself. Can you see that? Just to make that leading edge a little bit stronger. So I'm just going to put some glue along there and glue that tab back on itself. Um, finally on this part, this tab here is going to be the, the hinge, the bit that the tipper hinges by. 
this is actually going to be glued down on this surface onto the base of the truck. Um, I like to double fold it a few times because that needs to be quite flexible. Now we've got this tricky bit to cut out the um, top of the tipper. Um, difficult to get in with the scissors. What you could do perhaps um, is to use a sharp pencil to make a hole. I think if I'm very very careful I should be able to make a hole with scissors here. You might need to ask an adult to help you and then once you're in you can cut down to each corner. And then once you've gone to each corner it's fairly straightforward to cut around the outside. If you're finding this a little bit tedious, please, as with all YouTube videos, you can jump ahead. There we go. Really good practice for your scissor skills. I'm doing this very quickly. A bit of a jagged edge there. There we go. We'll just get that bit out there. So that's the... Um, back of the tipper that's going to tip up like that. So we've now got the, the cab, the back of the truck and the um, tipper. I think the next thing we're going to do is to glue the cab onto the front. Make sure you do glue it onto the part labelled front. Again I'm going to use a glue gun. Make sure it's central. There we are, that's our cab glued on. Um, I think before we glue the hinge, can you see where the hinge is going to go? Um, let's install the um, syringe. The small syringe is going to go in the truck and we're going to operate it with the large syringe. But before we put the small syringe in, uh, unfortunately when it fully closes, can you see that it's still sticks up beyond the flange and I want that flange to be glued down nicely onto the surface there. You may notice that the nozzle just sticks out underneath. Um, so what we need to do is just to cut off the end of the um, syringe and the quickest way to do that is with these uh, design technology craft cutting scissors, uh, uh, which will which card cutting scissors, which will cut through uh, thick card. They'll even cut through thin metal. Um, if you don't have any of those, you could cut cut it off with a mini saw. Where do you cut it off? It's just over perhaps um, a centimeter and a half. Can you see where the plunger starts to taper in? So. That's where I'm going to cut it off. It doesn't need to be accurate. Just make sure that when the plunger is fully down, that it fully disappears uh, beyond the flange. Uh, to get it out again, I need to just connect up, suck up some air first, and just push out the plunger. So have you got that? It's got to completely disappear below the flange. Um, something else you may want to do, got a few jagged edges there, just round off those four corners. Probably doesn't need doing, but I think that's a good idea just to round off those corners there. Okay, let's install the um, syringe onto our tipper truck. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to push it through that hole underneath, not the hole nearest the back, this hole and then it's easier to come up through the larger hole on top. Can you see that? Then push your small syringe on, put some glue, just show you what I'm doing, put some glue on each side of the hole here and some glue at the bottom of the syringe and then feed it through, make sure it comes out at the bottom and stick it down as flat as you can 
onto the top of the base. Can you see that? And the nozzles coming out underneath. Then you go back up through the second hole and out the hole at the back. Might need to struggle a little bit to persuade that. There it goes. And pull the tubing through. Try to avoid any um, major kinks in the tubing but I find that even when you've got a kink like that it's, it still seems to work. Um, get your big syringe, just, let's just check and make sure it's working. Always remember to suck up some air first, you don't need that much. Probably about just under 10 will be plenty. And we'll just check that this simple pneumatic system is working. Yes, it's fine. Probably got a little bit too much air there, so let's take the tubing off, take some of the air out, so that we've got control without the plunger completely popping out. That's working really nicely, I hope you're seeing that. Okay, so let's now fit the the tipper and that flap there is going to be glued down onto the back of the tipper there. I hope you're getting that. Can you see that? So I'm putting glue on the blank side. So let's put some glue on there. Use plenty. Zigzag across the whole surface. Let's try and get this lined up. That's not looking too bad. And let's check to see that the mechanism is working properly. Don't worry if it doesn't close completely. Uh, the more you do it, the more flexible that hinge will become. And certainly if you pull a load in your tipper truck, it will definitely um, open and close properly. So that seems to be working fine. Um, just try and make this flap as flexible as you can. Um, f finally, um, perhaps it would be good to have some wheels on our truck. If you've watched um, these videos before, you probably know this method that I use where I use uh, straws, a piece of straw. Let me just disassemble one axle so you can see. These are MDF wheels that I've used. Uh, when you stick the piece of straw and make sure it sticks out um, a little bit at each end to stop the wheel from rubbing on the side. If you want more details have a look at the uh, school bus video but hopefully that's fairly straightforward. So um, let's test our truck out for real. Um, don't be tempted as I was to load it up with something heavy like gravel because the um, syringe just cannot manage it. Um, let's see if we can deliver this uh, batch of wheels. Oh yeah, that's working really well. So um, I hope you enjoy making this moving toy a simple example of a pneumatic system. And don't forget the templates uh, are available uh, on my website. Thanks for watching.